friends assalamu alaikum this is aftab uh, and in this video series uh, we are learning about uh, parts of speech and the basics of grammar so today in this short video we are going to learn about pronouns so uh, let's start so what is a pronoun so pronoun is uh, actually a substitute for noun it is a replacement for noun because if you use noun regularly in a sentence or in a paragraph then that may sound uh, weird that may uh, sound uh, very unusual so that's why we should use pronoun instead of noun so let's see what are the pronouns so basically he she it they we who these are uh, these uh, words can work as a pronouns so uh, there are different types of pronouns by the way so uh, let's see one by one what are those types first of all personal pronoun so personal pronoun is a uh, one of the basic part of the pronoun which are divided into into two uh, types that is subject and uh, object so subject uh, pronouns are i you he she it we you they and uh, object pronoun are me you him her it us you and them uh, so let's see how it actually works so in this sentence mona is 5 years old so here mona is a subject and also it is a noun and uh, she is 5 years old in the next sentence here she is a subject as well as it is a personal pronoun then james and tom are going home james and tom are here subjects and nouns and they are going home is a in this sentence they is a personal pronoun So, in this next sentence, come look at my cat. She has climbed to the top of the tree. So here, cat is a subject and he is a pronoun which replaces the cat. Come look at my cat. My cat has climbed to the top of the tree. So this sentence, there is a repetition of the noun. So to avoid that, we use pronoun. Right? We use appropriate pronoun that depends on the subject. Or the noun which uh, uh, which we are replacing. Are we friends or not? So this is a question sentence here. R is a subject and uh, we is a pronoun here. So the next is a relative pronoun. So if you see from the title of the of uh, this type, uh, it relates. So we use a relative clause to make clear which person or thing we are talking about for example mary curie is the woman who discovered radium so here mary curie is a person a subject a noun and the clause is the relative clause is who discovered radium who discovered radium so relative pronoun here is who so the relative clause is giving more information about the person which we are talking also we use a relative clauses to give more information about a person thing or situation for example the cyclist who won the race trained hard so the cyclist who won the rest here the cyclist we are giving more information about this person or the situation we are giving more information about the cycle that, uh, about the cycle is that the person who won the race trained hard so who trained hard the cyclist has been trained hard right in this sentence a teacher is someone who helps us learn so here the teacher uh, we are giving more information about the teacher by using this pronoun who that he help us learn who help us learn a teacher who help us learn a park is a place a park is a place where we can have picnic so here the we can have picnic the relative clause gives more information about the park a place right. my winter jacket is the reason why i am sweating so here also my winter jacket is a subject and why i am sweating is a relative pronoun here here relative clause 
and y is a relative pronoun which is relating to the subject which is actually connecting the subject with the informative part or uh, the next part of the sentence so as you can see there are different types of relative pronouns the, for example which that whose whoever whomever who and whom so whose is the possessive form of who whose w h o s e whose is the possessive form it shows the possession whose whose property is this for example form of who and whoever whomever and whom are different varieties of used uh, of who used in different sentences all right so let's see the next type which is a reflexive pronoun so reflexive pronoun i'm just uh, i just recommend you to don't get afraid with this uh, difficult words of the types actually the words the titles which are very difficult for example here reflexive is actually nothing but the words like myself yourself himself right so reflexive pronoun as it uh, as the name suggest it refer back to a person or thing it refer back so it it is a reflection it is a reflection it uh, repeats to itself when the subject and the object of a verb are the same this is the uh, rule of uh, reflexive pronoun so in the singular sentence myself means my myself yourself mean your if you ask me about uh, the hindi versions of this so myself means my who yourself aap himself wo herself wo itself wo the plural forms ourselves yourselves themselves right ourselves hum sab hum ourselves yourselves aap sab themselves wo sab right so let's see one example i was in a hurry so i washed the car myself so i am using the word myself which is referring back to me the car is washed by me right so i am telling this so i washed the car myself he wanted to impress her so he baked a cake himself he wanted to impress her so he baked cake himself so he uh, he prepared the cake himself by himself right so himself that car is in a class all by itself because the car is is a non living object so we are using itself here itself the children made holiday decorations by themselves there is a plural for there is a plural noun over here the children so we are using the reflexive pronoun which is also a plural all right the next part it is indefinite pronoun so indefinite pronoun is nothing but we use indefinite pronouns to refer to people or things without saying exactly who or what they are so here we don't know exactly who are they or uh, we are not uh, directly referring to person or to people so for example anybody which can be anybody anyone koi bhi ho sakta hai everybody sab log nobody koi nahi somebody koi to hoga anyone koi everyone sab no one someone anything kuch bhi anything everything nothing and something so here you can see the word which comes with body b o d y as a as a uh, suffix body body right and anybody everybody every anyone everyone so body and one is goes with the living things the objects the person or the people and the thing goes with the non living things or non living objects and they are always singular so this is the main uh, rule of this indefinite pronoun that they are always singular hamesha singular hote hain somebody ate my sandwich i don't know who ate my sandwich so i am using somebody somebody ate my sandwich no one wants to hear about my health health problems no one something is making my computer act up something is making this is a computer which is a non living thing and uh, something is making it uh, act up so possessive pronouns possessive pronouns means the pronouns which show possessive uh, possession for example mine yours mine means my yours means uh, his or her he is hers ours and theirs so this shows the possession found at the 
end of a sentence. So usually the possessive pronouns are always at the end of the sentence. For example, your car is a lot faster than mine. Your car is a lot faster than mine. So mine is a uh, possessive pronoun here. I didn't have my book so Jenny lent me hers. So the book was of Jenny so Jenny lent me hers. Usne, Jenny ne uski book yaan pe di hai. Please return my money at once. My. They return my money. Meri money. Mera paisa. Then the, these cities are yours. These cities are yours. These cities aap ki hai. Aap ki property. This, how, this house, house is theirs. The ghar unka hai. Theirs. So it is a possessive pronoun. Which show the possession of the objects or living or non-living things. The next is demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns is uh, nothing but uh, the words which points or indicate something in a specific uh, time or specific uh, distance, right? For example, this, that, these, and those. Please give me one of those. So in near, it is uh, near in time and distance. If something, the object uh, or the object is uh, near in distance or in time we use this or these for example this was my mother's ring so it is near you so you are telling this was my mother's ring if something is far in time or distance something is which is aapse dur hai nazdik nahi hai time ke talukat se aur aapke distance ke mutabik bhi agar which is aapse dur hai to we use that and those for example, that was such an interesting experience. That was such an interest. That was means wo jo time me bhot piche chala gaya was. But I'm past tense. That was such an interesting experience. So that please give me one of those. Please give me one of those. Mujhe unme se ek de jo aapse dure unme se de. For example, if you go to the uh, clothes store and you see that. Please give me one of those or please show me one of those. So, they say, aapne kaha ki aapse dur hai cheez, so you are using those. Right? So, uh, this is it about uh, the pronouns. I hope you understand it uh, uh, well. If you, if you have any questions, if you have any queries, you can uh, write it in a comment box or uh, you can uh, text me in my Google Classroom. So, here is this uh, Google Class code. You can join anytime on a Google Classroom app. So, see you again in the next video. Thank you.